welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very fun video for you all for this Makeup Monday, which I'm very excited about. And what I have to share with you is uh, we're gonna do a review because we haven't done a review in a while um, on makeup and most likely like a beauty tool. And so I am gonna review for you all um, the Juno & Co Microfiber um, little sponge. Now it's been a while since I've done like a makeup sponge review. If we remember when I did e.l.f. one, I will try to find that video and I'm going to link it down below for you all if you have not seen that video. But if you haven't, then it's been a while since I've reviewed a makeup sponge um, or something comparable to a beauty blender, um, which I've had, I've had used a beauty blender in the past. I've also used the Real Technique sponges, which I really didn't review those because I think the ones I got were like a limited edition, like colors that were like pink and purple. They were like really pretty and really cute. Um, but I wanted to really try this because I saw these at Target. I got this a while ago, um, but I saw these at Target and I was like, oh, there's a pink one and I really wanted to get one. So. And I thought it would be something kind of fun to try because this is supposed to be a velvet sponge and the color that I got was the rose velvet sponge. So it comes in such cute little packaging, like this is so cute. So um, I do wanna say that they are cruelty free. They are also latex free. So if you have a latex allergy, then these are latex free and very good for you. Um, so I always try to stay away from latex because I do have a latex allergy due to my spina bifida. So um, also you should probably just stay away from latex in general and not be near it. Because <laughs> um, latex has become such a um, very, you know, more kind of common allergy these days. And it's always to be, um, you know, to have precautions um, and things like that. So it's very good to know about latex. It also says that it has hydrophilic um, polyurethane, anti-microbial anti microfibers in here. Hopefully I said that right. Um, but it also does say, it does say on the back on here, plus it gets seamless results every time. It says achieve the ultimate in <laughs> foundation coverage with this makeup brush a blender fusion sponge oh, it's, a, it's like supposed to be like a brush and a blender all in one fused into a sponge that's great um save 50 percent more makeup product and spend 50 percent less time applying with our innovative design perfect for blending in all formulas which is great so i only use cream and liquid formulas so that's going to be also amazing so i'm really excited so Let's open this little baby up because I'm so excited. I'm so excited to finally open this up and finally review something like this for you guys. I think I don't even think I need to tear this open. I think I should just open it. <gasps> Look at that. Magic. Oh, it's so cute. Does it have a little pants up in here too? Oh, it has a little guide, which that's really cute. It has a little guide in here. So there's definitely a little guide and also um, tells you how to clean it. The do's and don'ts. Which I feel like these are kind of pretty much standard, um, which is nice, but also good to have. They seem very kind of pretty much standard. So I will just, I guess show you guys like in front like what it comes with um so the side I think is um you know how to use it and then the other side is about cleaning instructions which is also really great so that is the sponge um a little pan flip Ooh. Oh, it feels so nice. It's a little velvet. I'm actually wearing velvet pants today, like a crushed velvet, velvet pants. I don't know if you can see, but I feel very put together today. But this is so nice. Uh, and it feels soft and a little bit firm. It's a little bit soft and firm, 
which well, I guess will be great for, you know, applying it. So, you know, it's kind of feels like almost like, I guess, like a firmish, you know, I guess brush that you would need for applying foundation. And I love how it has this little dip in there so that when you put it on the face, it's gonna be easier to, you know, um, have a nice flat surface to push, the, you know, push the product in and get it in there. And hopefully maybe, I don't even know if I could use the bottom. I wonder if I can use the bottom for when I'm applying the blush. Cause that's what I usually do on my sponges. I always use the bottom to apply foundation and stuff. And then I do my blush, my cream blush or liquid blush, whatever blush I'm using afterwards on the same sponge. So hopefully, I don't know if I can use it, it's super round, but Oh, but it looks so nice. I definitely need to go put this under some water. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna get applying to see how it works and if it does actually work, which I'm really excited about. All right, <laughs> so I am back and look how much bigger our little sponge has gotten. Um, I have it a f um, somewhat damp um, so that, um, you know, it's easy to apply and stuff um and we get like a nice smooth application so i'm really excited and i'm gonna take my glasses off because i can't put my foundation on i've already done my eye makeup so you might be able to see it um but i'm gonna go in with my foundation and as you guys know I love to rave about this foundation. This is from e.l.f. It's their flawless um, satin foundation, their finished one. Um, and I am using the shade 120 Pearl um, or Pearl in general, but who knows? I don't know. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out my right foundation shade, so it might be sometime. So we're gonna just put it on the flat surface, the products. And I'm gonna get my, okay, so I have my handheld mirror. Isn't it cute? Hopefully you guys can see, but has like vintage vibes. And we are going to start applying. I'm gonna start applying this. Um, we can get it right there and there under the eye. If I turn off to the side, it's because I'm trying to get the sun just so I can see. Because the sun does not shine all the way over here. Um. seems to be applying very nicely um i don't see it soaking up too much product maybe that's because i have a lot, um still some water absorbed in there but i only put on like small tiny amounts of my foundation so i am of course going to have to keep putting it on the sponge because i'm only putting on <laughs> for like the spots that I need to work on first. Um, but me doing my foundation is usually a pretty fast thing. Um, I don't spend a whole lot of time on it. Very much seeming to be able to get into all the little nooks and crannies. I guess that's what you would say. Um, <laughs> But I don't see my whole like sponge like soaking it all in. Um, it does feel nice. Come on, foundation. Maybe I'm at the end. I think I'm at the end of this. Um, So, I don't know if you can see, but it seems to look really nice. I'm not sure what's going on with my eye over here. I don't know why it didn't blend as well. 
I don't think you'll probably see it too much though. My glasses will probably cover it up. Um, I don't have much, I don't have that much farther to go with applying it. <laughs> I'm at the end of my foundation here. Um, I have to go and open a new one, but I think I have enough just for this time. Oh, I also love this e.l.f. foundation. I'm gonna link the review I did for it below because that's like my favorite, I think, great review I've ever done for makeup because it's just amazing. Six bucks. So. Wow, there's my foundation. So I actually really liked how that applied. Um, I think I'm good with the getting the foundation on. I might do my fix, might do a little couple touch ups just to make sure I got all the got all the right spots and stuff. But other than that, um, after that, I'm gonna go put my concealer on, which I'm not gonna really film because I don't think I need to film that, but. Once I have my concealer and stuff all done, I'm then going to come back and show how um, I think um, I want to try applying um, like a liquid blush to see if I can get a good effect, you know, with this. Because this is the only way I apply my liquid blushes is with a um, beauty sponge. So I'll be back and I will show you if it works with liquid blush. Okay. I am back, my foundation is on, I'm looking absolutely flawless. I think the sponge works beautifully. Um, so far with applying the foundation, I didn't seem to have any difficult, no, no foundation has swept away or anything like that. Um, I think it looks pretty good for the most part. I like it. It's all there, there's no smudging and I think it gave a really nice finish. I actually really do like it. So, I am very excited because now I can apply my <laughs> my favorite part here, which is doing my blush. I love putting on my liquid blush. Liquid blush has really became a game changer for me. Um, so, I have here the Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush in Rose Romance. So we could put it on because I have a very pinky look today. And so what I always do is I just take liquid blush. This is kind of just me sharing, I guess, a little bit of how I apply liquid blush. But um, I'm going to apply it to the bottom of the sponge. And so I just put it on directly like that. I sometimes go a little bit heavy handed. Like I sometimes do about maybe two layers of liquid blush just so, um, cause when I put the powder on, it always diffuses out. That's why I'm always able to get like a nice, um, let's see how I'm going to do this. Okay. Smile. No. Mm. No. All right. I don't think the bottom. Of the sponge is going to work for liquid blush. It's too flat. <laughs> it's too flat. It's not going to work for that part. So um i already feel like i'm already messing this little baby th up the sponge so i'm gonna have to do a nice good washing of this but we're just gonna use the same part where the foundation goes because that's what i usually do um yeah 
either that or I'm gonna have to start switching the brushes then. Cause I don't have another sponge to help me out. I don't know. What do you think? This is not working. No. I am not really. I don't know. I don't feel fond of this. It's not really applying the way I usually apply it. I'm using the back now of this sponge to see. Um, the back tip. I'm using the back tip now. Kind of like the back of this. To see if it will work. Um... Sorry if you guys can't see me. Oh, lighting is so awkward in my room. This is what I get for having a small window over here. All right, I think I like the back much better with it. Oh my gosh, that looks much better. I know my blush probably looks a little bit crazy right now um, with the amount I have just applied, but trust me, once I put powder on, it's going to work. So this side, not really great for uh, cream or liquid blushes probably, um, and neither is the bottom. You definitely need to use the back tip. This back tip right here, this will give you what you want and will be easier to control um so that will work out i am gonna go and powder my face and get the rest of my makeup on because i'm going to target um so i will be back all right i have some final thoughts because this whole makeup look is all done i'm so happy see look my blush is not super bright like we all thought it was gonna look, it was gonna look a little bit crazy, but no, oh my gosh, this little blender is so cute and so very nice and soft and velvety at the same time. And also just gave a really nice finish to my makeup. I actually really like the sponge and it's very affordable for, I think it was only $6.99, I think, um, when I purchased it at Target. Um, so the price is kind of like not bad. It's not, it's, it's really great for what it is. And I really liked it. Um, you know, the only, I think cons is I just probably need to get, find a little bit more of a little better technique of how to apply the liquid blush to my, to my cheeks. Um, because it's kind of like, not like how it's been with the real techniques sponges that I've been using. I've been able to use like the flat end where i like i used the, the um because it's like more of like a dome kind of um bottom not like a flat bottom so can't really use that for liquid blush um i guess you could use it if you were stamping foundation all over your face if you wanted to um but i like the found i liked using the foundation with the flat side right here because you're able to get into all the nooks and crannies of your face um, which is nice. Um, just can't, I wouldn't really use any kind of liquid blush to apply because I feel like it's not going to get where you want to go. So I had to end up using like the back side right here where you see this little dot and I was able to apply it more precisely there. So I just have a little bit of a little downfall with that, but applying my, my foundation that I love that I use all the time, which is also $6 from e.l.f., um, everything's super affordable, of course. Um, <laughs> so 
overall it applied the foundation very nicely i don't see any lost foundation um i still get a nice medium um coverage foundation look with this and it looks pretty nice pretty flawless i don't see any anything wrong so this is the full look of everything and i actually really like the sponge it's so super cute so nice and soft and velvety i did wash it up a little bit i know it's probably never all the stains are probably never going to come out of the sponge again but it is really nice and i do like it it's so pretty like how can you not be like a sponge like this this is so super cute and worked really really well and that's all i have to say about it so thank you so much for watching this review because it has been a while since we have reviewed something <laughs> like a proper review um i hope i did a pretty good job um because it's been you know it's been a while but i am very happy with this and i can't wait to keep using it more because i did really need a new makeup sponge um because other ones are no good but you do know you do know what i really want to try next i really want to try the pawpaw sponges from shop miss a they're available on um amazon which is really nice so i will be able to get them they come like in a pack um those little sponges so i definitely will try those out once i probably get through this little sponge right here but i hear so many great things about them about the pawpaw paw sponge um so i definitely those are definitely on the tip top of my list to try for a makeup sponge to just see what what kind of sponges those are like and yeah so i'm very happy we're all good and i hope you enjoyed this fun little makeup tool review for the sponge right here so like <laughs> Like, I think it's so cute. Like, it's really, it was really nice. So, there's my little sponge right there. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you all in my next video. I'm sending you all lots of love. And I will see you all in the next video. Have a beautiful and magical day. I love you all. Bye. Oh, if you have the wood.